our Lord that has created the whole world and he has, the firstborn among the dead, that that we shall be calling upon at all times, that that we shall be seeking, that that we shall be seeking for your glory and your power and your promotion. Everlasting Father, that as it is, that we continue to be. Glory be to your name this morning. Holy Spirit has set our tongues. The Lord of grace has set our tongues. The times that we brought to you on today, today, let it be accepted before thee, O Lord. We shall continue to be able to praise thee. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. This morning, I'm not going to take much of our time, but I want to go straight to what the Lord said I should speak to you today. What has the Lord said I should speak to you with? This morning is overcoming the barriers. Overcoming the barriers. I will explain to you fully well for you to be able to understand that overcoming the barriers, every barriers around you, overcoming them. What are the barriers? Those are the barriers that is disturbing you. Is the barriers. It can be called like something that is being put to block something. Barriers are the things they use in blocking something so that you'll not be able to move. You'll not be able to progress. Once you get to that barrier, you just have to stop. That will stop you and delay you. Those are the barriers. Those are the barriers. It can be like a wall. It can be like anything. Many a times when you want to pass, they will say that there's barriers. Heavy vehicles cannot pass. Only cars can be able to go by. Those are barriers. If those big vehicles does not know, by the time they get to that barrier, no matter how long or how big they are, they have to turn around. They have to turn around because there will not be any way out. Those are the barriers. Those are the things to block you. Those are the things to stop you from being able to get to wherever you are going. That at, at the point that you get to that point, you just have to stop. That's what the Lord said I should speak to you today. I don't want to speak more than 13 minutes today. If the Lord give me that grace. Many people are saying that many a times that maybe it's too long or it's too short. Some people say it's too short, that's our message. And some people will say that it's too long. Anyway, don't worry. That's the way the Lord is giving unto us. Whatever that pertains to you, just pick it and be able to make use of it. It's not everybody that will be able to make use of it. It's not a cause. No matter what we say, it's not everyone that will be able to pick from it and make use of it. It's not everybody that are going to be saved. The kingdom of heaven is not for everybody. But thou that is listening to me this morning, any evil plan of the people to put you to that hell, the Holy Spirit will conquer for you today. You will not be able to lose the kingdom of heaven. The Lord will be able to help you today for you to be able to inherit this world and inherit the kingdom of the Lord. The Lord will endow it for you. Just keep listening to the word. What am I saying today? What I'm saying is overcoming those barriers. What are those problems? What are those barriers in your life? What are those barriers in your family that does not allow people to be able to be successful? Once they get to that point, they just have to stop. When they are full of glory, in the beginning of their life, as a young guy or a young girl, by the time they get to that barrier, they just have to stop. They just have to stop. The Holy Spirit said, I should tell you today, that those barriers, they become history in your life. Just smile over them. By the time you get to that barrier, just love. Just love and start mocking them. Because the Lord will give you that power for you to be able to go by. The Lord will give you that authority for you to be able to overcome all those barriers. That's why I keep preaching about holiness. It is only holiness that can help you to be able to overcome those barriers. Whenever you are in the Lord, you will be able to overcome those barriers. Remember the sermon of yesterday that says the power of fire. The power of fire. Remember that I told you yesterday that before you can receive that power of fire, you have some things to do. I don't want to repeat myself in the same way today for you to overcome those barriers. There are things that you need to do. There are things that you need to do. If someone make up their mind to be able to start on education, once they take that step, they will not be able to have the money to pay for the school fees. And they will stop. No, from today on, don't stop. 
don't stop. Or some people, they will struggle to buy their property. Once they buy their property, they will not be able to pay for the mortgage. And the property will be repossessed. That is the bad that the people have put before you. Some people, they will be so brilliant. That young girl will be so brilliant. And in education. But what will happen to her? She will just get pregnant. That does not mean she stop. No. It does not mean that she should stop. You don't need to stop. Some people, when they get pregnant, they say, oh, no, 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 no. You get to the point that you are going, then you are no more going to go to that school. Don't do like that. No. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to support them. Support them and say, no. You have to give back to that child. When you give that to that child, you go back to that education. You go back to that education. Don't because of that stuff. No. Many people, it has happened to them in the past. Today they are doctors. Today they are lawyers. Today they are very successful. When they tell you the story of their lives, you will be surprised. You will be surprised. So please, any barrier that is placed before you, do not because of them stuff. Ask for that power to be able to overcome. Has that power for you to be able to overcome. You need to be able to pray for the Lord to give you that power over those barriers. Those barriers, many a times, they are the spirits of the devil. They are the spirits of those in the dark. And some, some of those barriers can even come naturally. It does not be caused by anything. What I'm saying to you today is that you have to overcome those barriers. Many a times, these barriers can be used in some people's prayer. When they are praying, the day they finish their prayer, the day they finish their, they break their fasting, the first thing that will happen to them is problems, is problems, and they will not be thinking, how can I pray and I fasted? Is this supposed to be my portion? Oh, hear the voice this morning. The voice that is coming out is not our own power. The voice is mighty. The voice is from the voice of the Lord. It's not human voice right now. The Lord is the one that is speaking now. You have to listen to that word. You have to listen to that word. It's not being written down at all. It's coming directly from the throne. You must be able to listen. You must be able to listen. It's the voice of the Lord. It's the voice of the Lord. You now become to wonder. After fasting, for many days after this prayer should I be in this problem you will not know that they are just using that as a barrier for you not to be able to continue in prayer anymore because that success is just coming they will not know that the success is coming on the way they will not know that even that same week they are going to be blessed but they send those problems to them for them not to be able to progress in praying for them to stop that prayer yes you have to be careful many a times these barriers can be used on people in business. The first money that they see, the first money that they are able to get in their life, they will back on the business and they will put it on business. And by the time they put it on business, they will go to the hand of 419 and they will dupe them. And by the time they dupe them, they don't want to go in that business anymore. They want to pack it up and stop. I want to advise you today, please do not stop. Please do not stop. Please do not stop. Yesterday, we were doing something together on a database with my sister and the Lord. When we were doing it, I was calling that thing in Nigeria. That thing was we called remote server in Nigeria. We spent about a year in school in Nigeria so that you'd be able to remove other client station from anywhere, any region that you are in the old world so that you can remove the screen of other server so that you'd be able to take over their screen and be able to be working together anywhere that you are. Only those people that are desktop technicians or remote server engineers, they are the only ones that can do all these things. So they will take over the computer of their clients when they have problems on their computers at home. They can remove their computers from wherever they have. So then my sister in the Lord was saying this thing. She just mentioned it, to, mentioned it to me. And I was able to realize that that thing is already on internet. That you don't even know to go to any training before you can do it. That you don't even know, need anything to go and learn before you can do it. Just go in your house and download it. I didn't know at all that it was that easy. That it was that easy. Whether you know about IT or not, whether you know about IT or not, 
you will be able to access it. Don't be so upset with what I'm saying today. So that you not say that where am I going? So I would just want you to understand. That's why I am going that way is where I'm going. Now when that my sister did that thing. And I said, ah, so this is so easy like this. So it's as easy as this. Why do I want to bring out of this? Some people ditch this and they make it peaceful for us. And it's so peaceful for us. Don't you know how long they've been building those softwares that they've been working on it? Don't you know how long they've been putting their brains together? They've been brainstorming for them to be able to come to this conclusion. Maybe it has taken them, taken them four years, ten years. Now we are using them and we are happy. Many, many, many more things that we are enjoying now. Look at the cars that we are driving. If people does not use their wisdom, how can we be able to achieve this? If they already allow those things, those barriers to overcome them, they will not be able to achieve all that they are doing. They will not be able to do it. Do you think that the day that they start doing it is the day that they are able to achieve it? No, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Don't you know how many money that they've spent? They didn't stop at all. You cannot get any glory with ease. You have to be determined. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about overcoming the barriers, the barriers of your life. Because there's glory in you, there's glory in your life. That glory in you, this woman, is more than that glory in that man. Yes, there's nothing that you lay your hands upon that will not be blessed. There's no way that you step upon that you not be blessed. Anything that you bring will be successful. So do not allow any barriers to stop you. Oh, that would be so sad. Ask for that power for you to be able to overcome those barriers. Any barriers that is before you, ask for that power for you to be able to jump over those barriers. Any barriers that you place before you, ask for that power for you to be able to be an overcomer. Ask for that power for you to overcome. Ask for that power for you to overcome those barriers. Anybody that wants to stop you, you have to go to the Lord and pray for that power today. Many a times, many a times, the barrier of their life is that advice that they are getting from friends and family because you don't have any secrets. Anything that you start, people will just rubbish it. You want to start selling clothes, Oh, somebody has sold clothes in the plaza. They are not successful. All those cancer that you are getting from your friends and families, that's the one that is putting barriers in your life. Many people, it's because you cannot keep secrets. That's the one that is giving you these barriers. And there are so many people that are talented. They have so many gifts in churches. But there are people around them that will not allow them to be able to use that particular gift that they have. They don't allow them to use that talent that they have. You now become barriers in their life. Listen to me today. Listen to me today. There are glory everywhere. The glory is a lot. The glory is a lot. We have to be careful. You have to be careful not to allow anybody to pull you back. Do not allow anybody to disturb you. Don't allow anybody that are barriers in this world. There are lots of barriers. Do not allow those barriers to overcome you. Once you detect your barriers, just tell them to get out from you, that you cannot stop as barrier before me. I am going to cross over you. I am going to cross over you. I am going to cross over you. You must be able to jump over those barriers. You must be able to jump over those barriers. You must not wait at all. Some people's barrier is fear. People are so fearful. By the time you are so scared, no matter your wisdom, it will just dry up. When you are being called for interview, you will say that you cannot face interview. You are fully learned and you can speak friendly. But because you are so fearful, you cannot face interview. Your, the barrier is fear. Today I want you to identify your barrier. Identify your barrier today so that you can know what is causing you to be what is causing that failure in your life. Please try to identify your barriers. Try to identify your barrier and jump over it. And ask for the Lord to give you victory over those barriers. Ask the Lord to let you be able to overcome those barriers. Yes.
Yes, you must be able to identify it. What am I saying today? I said overcoming the barriers in your life. Pray for the Lord to give you victory. Whatever that you think is problem, make sure. Make sure you identify it and make sure that you overcome it. Make sure you overcome it. Don't give up. Don't give up at all. Don't give up at all. Just continue to move on. Continue to move on. Continue to move on. I'm saying to you today, any problem that is standing against you, that are standing like barriers before you today, I pray for you today. May the Lord make them to flee from you. May the Lord make them to flee from you. You will jump over those barriers today. In Jesus' name, you will jump over those barriers. I've told you that this year is year of promise and year of fulfillment. Many people are already testifying. Many people are already testifying. If if you are able to log on to the hour of testimony, you can be able to listen to the testimony of others. The Lord is so good. All you need to do is to know Him and acknowledge Him in all your ways. When you are listening to Hour of Peace and you are making use of the words and you are not being full of yourself and you are not proud, then it will be well with you. You will be able to learn from it. You will be able to learn from it. You will be able to learn from it. What am I saying today? Asking for the power to overcome barriers. All those barriers. You need to be able to pray for the Lord to give you victory over them. Yes. Yes. Yes, people will not tell you what they are doing. People will not tell you what is going on in their life. So why are you saying your own? Why are you saying your own? Be careful. There are barriers everywhere. People does not want to be successful. So many barriers are being put in people's lives. You have to be the one to be able to plan to jump over those barriers. Don't just compare yourself with others. Don't compare yourself with others because you don't know what other people are doing. You have to be able to run from sin. Run from sin and be close to the Lord and the Lord will prove himself unto you. Barriers is making someone to be fearful. It's the one that is stopping someone. It's a blocking stone. It's a blocking stone. It can be there for five hours, five hours, one year, it can be more than that. It can stop people's glory. Who are those that will be victorious? Only those that will be victorious are those that are making decisions that they will not give up. So people's barrier is the dream. Why they have those bad dreams, whatever they want to do, they will just stop. They will just stop. They will say, oh, I had a terrible dream. I don't think that if I am back on that journey, I don't think it will be successful. Ah, some people's barrier, just dream, and you will stop. As soon as you stop, some people are starting. Yes, yes, you must be able to understand what I'm saying. I am not saying that there are no problems. There are problems and there are enemies. Many a times, if you just want to jump over barriers, they can kill you. They can kill you. But once you are in the Lord, you will be an overcomer. You will be an overcomer. Some people will say, once they try two, three times, they will just stop. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's not my way. Who told you that's not your way? Who told you that it's not for you? That it's not for you. It is forbidden. Stop saying that. Stop them saying that. Just try. Try. In trying, you will be successful. In trying, you will be successful. Yes. It's not easy to receive. It's not easy to just come to conclusion. But just be careful. Ask for the Lord to give you that power for you to be able to overcome those barriers. Overcoming barriers. Let's go to the book of Judges. Judges chapter 12. Start reading from verse 1 to verse 4. Judges 12, verse 1 to 4. Let's listen. This word is for Jessa and Ephraim. Yes, they were being sent to help them. Let us read this so I can understand. The book of Judges, chapter 12, verses 1 to 4. And it says, And the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together and went that word and said unto Jessa, Wherefore passed thou over to fight against the children of Ammon, and did not call us to go with thee? We will burn their eyes upon thee with fire. Hmm. Can you see? Hmm. Hmm. 
Ah, they were just so you are just standing like that. You are too full of yourself. Where we are, you want to do something without informing us? Oh, you must be stupid for doing that. We are going to show you. That's the same way they were saying to Jephthah on this day that where we are, you are so full of yourself. You are so full of yourself. Those are one kind of barrier. Those are one kind of barrier. Yes, he was being sent to Jephthah. And what did he say? Verse 2. Jephthah said unto them, I and my people were as great tribe with the children of Ammon. And when I called you, ye deliver me not out of their hands. Can you see? I came to you. I came to you, but you told me you are unable to do it. I came to you last week. I came to you many years, but you said you are unable to do it. How long have I been begging you? You just turn your face. You turn your back. You didn't even seem to care. Eh? And I want to move on. So what do you want me to do? I don't want anybody to stop me. That's exactly what Jephthah said on that day. Can you not hear that fast too? Jephthah said unto them, I and my people were as great tribe with the children of Ammon. And when I call you, you deliver me not out of their hand. Oh. Call the of Christ wherever you are. Holy Spirit one time. And shout. Oh. Power to be bold, power to be bold, for me to be able to jump, jump over every barrier. Oh, that power to be bold, for me to be able to jump every barrier. That power for me to be bold, that you gave unto Jephthah, King of glory, and thou me this power. Continue to pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, King of Kings. Power for me to be bold. Power for me to be bold. Spirit of boldness for me to jump over every barrier. King of glory, King of glory, and thou support me, and thou support me. Every power for me to be bold, to have victory over my enemies, and thou support me, O Lord, and let me be victorious. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. There's power in the word of the Lord. Oh, and when I saw that he delivered me not, I put my life in the hand, in the I put my life in my hands and passed over against the children of Ammon. And then the Lord delivered them. Oh, the Lord delivered us into my hands. Wherefore they are ye come unto me this day to fight against me. Can you see? <laughs> Let me stop at this verse, verse 3. You can continue to read. Go and read that Judges chapter 12. Can you see? He was able to jump over all those barriers. You have to be able to use your power to be try to be righteous. Yes. Don't you say that the kingdom of kingdom of God sovereign violence. Only those that are powerful will be able to enter into it. Yes. Many people have jumped over so many barriers. And that is what is bringing problems in their life. They will say some of them are so proud. Some of them are so proud. Some of them are so proud. That's not it at all. You have to be decisive. You have to be decisive and do things that is good. If you are among those that you already jumped those barriers and people are not giving you problems or maybe because you help someone and they are waging war against you or maybe you jump over any barriers and those enemies like Ephraim come to fight with you they will fall before thee today go and read it through to verse 7 you will see, you will see, you will see they really didn't mean to fight with Jetha can you see? and Jetha was able to conquer Yes, go and read it through to verse 7. Yes, even your conversation on telephone are uh, causing barriers on people's lives. On some people's lives, ordinary phone call can be a barrier into people's lives. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Some people might want to start any course. They will say they are scared. Somebody said that I should not do it. So I wanted to be pilot. But if you do pilot, oh, they can throw you up and down. You can go so far, like 100 kilometers, like 100 kilometers, your head down. Some people are doing it and they are successful. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Go for it. 
go for it now and say, Lord, Lord, if you know that it's going to kill me, don't let me even want to do it at all. But once you start, and you already start, and you are getting successful in it, and you don't fail at all, you should know that it's the right way for you to go. That's the right path for you to trek. Yes, why do you not want to stop it immediately? Don't stop. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? That's a blocking stone that wants to stop you. Don't you know whether where you endure and you finish? You are now a qualified pilot. Don't you know by the time you endure and finish it, then you are a qualified pilot. Yes, don't stop anything that you are back upon. Don't stop it the middle way. Don't stop halfway. Don't stop halfway. Be decisive and make sure that you finish it. Anything that will deny you, don't allow it to come to your soul. Any barrier, do not allow it to come to your soul. Pray for you to be able to overcome every barrier of your life. Pray for you to be able to, come, to, be able to jump over those barriers. Yes, overcoming your barriers. Overcoming your barriers. Try to overcome every barrier. Jephthah was able to overcome. Jephthah was able to overcome. He said, I cry unto you. I cry unto you for you to deliver me. But when I saw that I did not answer, I put my life in the hands and passed over the days the children of Ammon. Let me stop here. The one that I've talked to you today is the love. Overcoming barriers. Overcoming barriers. Anyone that has come before you this year, so that the covenant of the Lord this year will not come to fulfillment. Oh, every barrier that has been put before you so that you can fall back. That power for you to be able to jump over. That's what I'm talking about today. That power for you to be able to overcome. Since you've already received that fire, use that fire. Let that fire use in your life so that you can go over those barriers. Oh, some people, their husband is the barrier of their life. Your husband is your barrier. Your husband is your barrier. Don't be afraid that I'm going to family now. Don't be afraid that I'm going to matrimonial home now. You have to be careful and pray seriously so that the Lord can enter into the heart of that your husband. Yes, we will not separate any family. It is forbidden. For us to pray for any family to be separated, we will not make it to separate. We just have to pray for you for the Lord to be with you. Some people's wives are their problems. Some people's wives are their barrier. I don't have to let her know. Because once she knows, you will not allow you to be successful. Well, it is good. It is good. But you have to be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. Is it everything that, that your husband is telling you to stop that is not good? Is it everything that, that your wife is ready to stop that is not good? You better pray. You better pray. You better pray. Anybody can be used to bring problems into one's life. Anyone can be used to cause problems into one's life. You have to be careful. Even siblings can cause problems to themselves. Siblings can be a stumbling blocks before someone. If Cain was being used to kill Abel, oh, if Joseph's brothers was able to sell Joseph into slavery, oh, who are you? Who are you? There's no one that cannot be used. If Delilah can ask for the power of Samson, no matter how powerful Samson was, if Delilah was able to conquer and know the source of his power, that's no one that cannot be used to be your barriers. So be careful. Do not allow any barrier in your life. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you are. That the Lord, the Lord that was able to conquer for Jephthah on that day, that God that was able to conquer for him when those people started to wage war against Jephthah, and Jephthah was being bold to overcome those barriers. The Lord that fought for Jephthah, arise, O Lord, today, and come and fight my battle. Continue to pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, everlasting Father, King of kings, Lord of lords, the Lord that fought for Jephthah, and gave Jephthah victory, King of glory, arise and come to my help. Arise and come to my help. Arise, O Lord, and come to my help. Fight for me, O Lord. Fight for me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. 
call upon Jesus Christ, call upon Jesus Christ and say, Oh Lord, all those spirits, all those spirits that are revealing everything in my life, there are two types of those spirits, that's only spirits that will reveal something, but then again, that's that one of the devil, of the darkness that will see every ticket of your life, call upon Jesus Christ, all those spirits that are living with me, oh, that are tormenting in me that are always standing as barriers to my glory that are turning themselves to barriers before my life before my life I decree and I declare as the Lord liveth this spirit flee from me today flee from me today continue to pray continue to pray in Jesus name Lord of Lords King of Kings, everlasting Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. All those spirits that are standing before me like barriers, conquer for me today. Conquer for me today. Lord, all those barriers, let them fall before me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Do you know that the Lord is taking you to a particular level so that you can be successful in life? Yes. It's not only your siblings or your family. No. No, it's not only them. Although those that are successful, don't look at them and don't say, ah, is the Lord doing this for them? No, you're supposed to be able to look into the badness of your life that is causing you to be stagnant. You are the lawyer among them. Maybe you have some lawyers in your house and you are looking at them and jealous in them. You are the main lawyer. You must be able to pray for the Lord to make you to jump over any barriers that is disturbing me. Because many a times when you see people that are being successful, you will say, oh, the Lord knows about it. You will be thinking it's of the Lord, but you will not know that it's of the devil. There are some posts that belong to you, that's for you. It's mainly for you. It's designed for you, not for your family, not for your brothers. It could be anything. Try to understand what I'm saying. That position, that position, it's only meant for you. It's only meant for you. It's not for your brothers. It's not for any other person. But for you, no matter the problem, oh, all those pussy, you must get there. You must get there. Everybody else before you, you must be able to overcome them so that you'll be able to go, so that you can be able to have those positions, all those barriers that are before you. You must be able to jump over. Call upon Jesus Christ. I don't want to touch, talk much. Many a times, if you do not know the right prayer to pray, you can be a problem for so long. Call upon Jesus Christ three times, Holy Spirit one time, and say that the glory that is worthy of me, anything that can deny me, anything that can disturb me, for me not to be able to get there, all this glory, all this glory, all this glory, let it come to me, all these barriers, remove them from me, O oh Lord, move them away from me, O oh Lord, move them away from me, O oh Lord, every stumbling blocks. Move them away. Roll those stones away. All those barriers. I gather you together. Flee from me. Flee from me. Continue to pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, King of glory, Lord of lords, I decree and I declare every stumbling blocks, every barriers. Move, 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 move. All those spirits that are always standing against my glory. Move, 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 move. Every stumbling blocks. Move. Everybody else. Move. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. I have prayed, amen. Call upon us Christ three times, Holy Spirit one time, and say, oh Lord, the power, the power that puts the people of Ephraim to shame before Jephthah. When Jephthah asked for help, but they denied him of those help, but the Lord arose for his help. Today, put all my barriers to shame. Every barriers of my life, Put them to shame. Put them to shame. Put them to shame. Some people, they will hold on to the information that is worthy for someone. The position that is for someone, they will hold it. They will hold it in their hands. They will hold it in their hand. Ah, and then you'll be wondering that, ah, how everybody is having it? Why am I not having it? Oh, you have to pray. You have to pray that that position that is for you should come to you. That information that is for you should come to you. Try and go and find that from anywhere. If they don't want to teach you, they don't want to 
help you, why don't you go forward? Go ahead and find out from someone. Don't just give up. Don't just give up. That's already giving up when the time is right. The Lord will do. Oh, I'm sorry for you. The Lord is answering people's prayer. There are a lot of people that the Lord wants to answer their prayer. So you cannot just give up. Don't give up. Don't give up and call upon Jesus Christ, the Lord that put the Ephraim into shame when they were waging war against Jephthah, when they refused to help Jephthah, everlasting Father. Oh Lord, thou that put them to shame, thou that put them to shame before Jephthah, that he was able to be victorious, King of glory, any human being that has turned themselves to barrier before me at my workplace, in my family, put them to shame. Let me have my glory today. Continue to pray. In Jesus' name, everlasting Father, King of kings, Lord of lords, every spirit that has turned themselves to hatred before my life, oh Lord, put them to shame. Put them to shame. Put them to shame. Let my glory come forth. Let my glory come forth. Help me, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Fifth time, call upon the Jesus Christ and say, Oh Lord, I ask for that space. I ask for that space. That's oh, oh Lord, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. Because there are some spirits, there are some spirits, there are some spirits that are so stubborn. When you say that you don't want to greet that person anymore, no matter what they say to you, you will not greet them anymore. I'm sorry for you. All those stubborn spirits, all those stubborn spirits, you have to pray against them today. You must be able to pray against them today. Even that person that you are fighting with, when they even come to beg you, when they come to beg you, you will not listen. You have to pray. You that have that spirit of the Lord in you, that spirit of boldness, that spirit of boldness, that spirit for you not to be able to give up until when you enter into your glory. Ask for that spirit, that old Lord, that spirit, spirit of boldness, spirit of boldness, spirit of boldness for me to be bold for me to be bold for me to be brave that rigid heart to get to my glory to receive my glory king of glory king of glory that spirit of boldness king of glory to have my glory and that's upon me continue to pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, that heart for me to be bold, to be able to receive my glory, and that's upon me. This spirit for me to be brave, for me to be able to have my glory. King of glory, King of glory, King of glory, and that's upon me, and that's upon me, and that's upon me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Those prayer, they are going to write it out for you so that you can use it in prayer. Many are using it in their churches, many are using it in their family. So those don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Don't say that you've been praying and praying and praying. It does not matter. Prayer is never too much. You don't know the one that is going to be answered. Continue to pray. Pray fervently. Write them down. Use those prayer points to pray. Six times. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ and pray and say unto the Lord, the Lord, King of glory, every barrier is, that is surrounding me, that is making me to be fearful, anytime I want to take a very good step, many a times you turn yourself to a lion, you turn yourself to a snake, you turn yourself to the sea, you turn yourself to a mountain, you turn yourself to fire, you turn them to all those things that when we see you, we are so scared. Many a times you wake us up from our sleep, everlasting Father, everlasting Father, all all these spirits, all these spirits that you go out of someone and you go and bring more spirits, seven more spirits to come into someone's life. I call upon the fire of the Lord today. All those spirits that are surrounding me, that are standing that burns over my glory. Oh Lord, that fire that burns, let it come down and burn you. Continue to pray in Jesus' name, everlasting Father, King of glory. All those contrary spirits that do come to me. Anytime that I'm praying, anytime that I'm fasting, that do come in my dreams, that do come in my dreams, 
like animals, like animals. I come to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray today in Jesus' name, free for me, free for me, fire from heaven, fire from heaven. Let it boil you down. Holy Spirit, help me today. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Some people's barrier are those that are around them. No matter what he has, no matter good plan that they have, no one will want to support that person. All those that are around you, they are your barriers. You don't need to put your trust in people. But many a times, you cannot do it all alone. You need someone next to you. You need someone that will help you. You can't do it all alone. But then these people that are around you, how good are they to you? How good are they to you? That's the reason why when you already lose, lose love in you. Oh, that's problem. There are some glorious people that the Lord can use to help you. They are so brilliant. They can help you. But because you don't allow them to use uh, to use their wisdom, uh, many a times you will arise like stumbling blocks before them. And once they notice you, they will jump over you. They will jump over you. And you cannot do anything to them. Once they have their faith in Christ, you can't move them. You can't take anything. You can't do anything. You cannot do anything to them. Yes. Yes. Because you not have power over them. Because they are in the Lord. The power of the Lord standing sure. <coughs> The power of the Lord standeth forever. Some people's problem is those that are around them. When they move, they move with them. When they stand, they stand with them. Every good plan in their life, they make it to be watery. They made it to be watery. They are not stumbling block before them. Call upon Jesus Christ. Every problem of Ephraim. Oh, King of glory, if you are able to conquer for Jephthah before them, I pray today, everybody that are stumbling box, that are barriers before me, every soul surrounding me, that you find yourself to be my barriers, I call the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today to move, to live, to flee, to flee, to flee. Oh, yeah, live my life today. Live my life today. I want to reach there and there other glories. Every barrier before me. Everybody that stand against my glory. Everybody that stand in before me. Everybody, yes, O oh Lord, that's contrary to the will of the Lord. I decree and I declare today, Holy Ghost fire from above. Oh, yeah, come upon them. 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 I pray. I pray today, Holy Ghost fire. To come against you, every spirit that has turned themselves to barriers. I told you, some people, some people, their barriers to my being. Their, <coughs> their barriers are those that are surrounding them. Call upon Jesus Christ and say, every contrary spirit that has turned themselves to barriers before me, flee, flee, flee. Flee. Ways begin to open. The way to my glory begins to open. Continue to pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the mercy of Jesus Christ. The Lord that has created the whole world that he has. Oh, oh, oh. King of glory. Pay for for me. 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 If Ephraim can be able to fall before Jephthah. Before Jephthah. King of glory. Everybody. Begin to fall, begin to fall. Yes, it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be forever. Holy Spirit, make me to be victorious. I'll be able to worship you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The Lord has authority on the whole world. Authority was given on the sun, and the sun keeps to shine, and no one can cover it. It was the authority of the Lord that makes human beings to speak. It is the Holy Ghost, King of glory. It was the authority that was on the Lord. When the Lord said, let there be light, and there was light. If it is so, I decree and I declare with authority from above, every barrier before day today, may they become to flee, may they begin to flee, may they begin to flee. Every spirit of failure, every spirit of fear, that is always making to be fearful. Anyway, anytime you want to take a good step, I pray for you today, spirit of fear, let let it fear from you. 
Let it flee from you. Let it flee from you. That was a powerful hand that delivered the Israelites. That powerful hand may be able to deliver you. Failure over your life. May the Lord conquer for you. Failure over your family. May the Lord conquer for you. Failure over the life of your children. May the Lord conquer for you. I pray for you today. Begin to be successful. Begin to be successful. Begin to be successful. Begin to be successful. I decree and I declare every stumbling blocks, every barriers before your life. May the Lord put them. May the Lord put them. May the Lord help them. Every forms of barrier that make it to turn back. Anytime that you want to enter into your glory, may those spirit fall from you. You are the one life for testimony. Continue to testify to the goodness of the Lord. I am expecting your testimony now. Begin to testify to the goodness of the Lord. Continue to testify to the glory of the Lord. Holy Spirit today, may He bless you. You have a good testimony. So shall it be. It will never be changed. It will never be reversed. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Overcoming barriers. Overcoming the barriers. Overcoming barriers in your life. In Jesus' name I pray for you. Amen. Listen to this. The ministry now has a TV channel, open TV channel. You'll be able to listen to all these messages on this our YouTube channel, on this our TV channel, open TV. Glog on to Open TV on YouTube. Just search for open TV. Once you search for that open TV, you will see our logo. It has lemon and that red. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it. Don't deceive yourself. Our logo is on it. Just go on YouTube and search for Open TV. You will see our logo. Go there to listen to all this sermon again. The power for you to be able to be successful, the Lord will endure upon you. The power to overcome all barriers, may the Lord endure upon you. You are the next in line for testimony. Bye.